Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Kaval Mehta and from today we are starting a new series that is panel data analysis using e-views. So let us first understand what do I mean by panel data. Panel data uh, referred to as a longitudinal data is a data that contains observation about different cross sections across the time. The examples of groups that may make up a panel data series includes countries, firms, individuals or demographic groups. In the next slide, I have given you the example of what do I mean by cross-section data, time series data, and a panel data. Let's see. In case of cross-section data, observations of the subjects are obtained at the same point in a time. You can see here, form 1, form 2, form 3, year is a constant. In case of time series data, observations are generated over a time. It means that one form and the observations are, are collected at a different time interval. You can see here 2018, 19 and 20. But if I talk about panel data, it is a combination of cross-section data and time series data, also known as a longitudinal data. Different firms are there and it also includes the different time interval. Now, there are different types of panel. The first panel is balanced panel. Here, equal number of observations for each firm for the entire period. It means that, suppose, firm 1 is having three, three observations for three years. The same will be applicable for firm 2 and firm 3. In case of sort panel, which is a micro panel, number of firms is more than the number of periods. So In this example, we have two firms, but only two years. In case of long panel, which is also known as a macro panel, number of periods is more than the number of firms. In this example, we have two firms, but three years. We can also have a dynamic panel data, which includes the lagged value of the dependent variable as a regression. The dependent variable and its, and its lagged value is also considered. So for this purpose, we require generalized method of moments estimation. In case of unbalanced, unbalanced panel, number of observation is not same for all subjects. In this example, form has two years of data, form, uh, form one has two years of data, form two has three years, and form three has only one. What are the advantages of panel data? Panel data can model both common and individual behaviors of the group. Panel data contains more information, more variability, and more efficiency than the pure time series data or cross-section data. Panel data can detect and measure statistical effects that pure time series or cross-section data cannot. Panel data can minimize estimation biases that may arise from aggregating groups into a single time series. Use of panel data. Panel data analysis is a statistical method widely used in social science, epidemiology, and econometrics to analyze two-dimensional, typically cross-section and longitudinal panel data. The data are usually collected over time and over the same individuals, and then a regression is run over, run over these two dimensions. Panel data is a collection of quant quantities obtained across multiple individuals that are assembled over even intervals in time and ordered chronologically. Examples of individual group include individual people, countries, and companies. You can see here we are having the time series data which is indicated in blue color and orange color, but the data has been collected for two different groups. This is panel data. We can also have a wide and long panel data sets. So panel data sets may come in different formats. Long format data sets stack the observation of each variable from all groups across at all time periods into one column. When panel data is stored with the observation for a single variable from separate groups stored in separate columns, this is sometimes referred to as white data format. Panel data heterogeneity. Panel data series modeling centers around addressing the likely dependence of, across data observation within the same group. In fact, the primary difference between panel data models and the time series model is that the panel data model allows for heterogeneity across groups and introdu introduce the individual specific effects. For example, consider a panel data series which includes cross-domestic product, cross-domestic product data for a panel of five different countries. 
the United States, France, Canada, Greece, and Australia. A worldwide economic recession is likely to impact all five countries and causes changes in the GDP across all five countries. So it accounts for the heterogeneity. An election in Australia is likely to affect the GDP of Australia but may not affect the other countries in the panel. A change in North American trade policy may only regionally impact the US and Canada. A change in the Euro exchange rate will mostly directly affect only France and Greece. Now if I only use time series regression for this type of data, what will happen? It will estimate a time series model for each firm using OLS which will result in three regression models. We will get three regression models for form 1, form 2 and form 3. We will get disparate pieces of information which will not be able to comprehend on how x1 and x2 jointly affect y. Serial correlation might be a problem because of time dependent nature of y. It is not at all a good idea to run this type of regression. Now if we run cross section regression on this panel data, what will be a problem? Let's see. For each year, estimate a cross section regression. This means we have a three cross section regression, one for each year. Very limiting because of each year, we have only three observations of each firm with which to estimate three parameters in this example is a difficult task. This approach will severely limit the degree of freedom required to get meaningful estimates. Not at all a good approach. The third approach is taking the average of form 1, form 2, form 3. You can see here. But this is also not the good idea to run the analysis on panel data. All the firms are included in the model. Average of each firm's value is calculated over the entire period. Run cross section regression using the averages. But what will happen is it erases the time dependent information due to the average. We have taken the average and therefore the information coming from time is completely deleted. It limits the sample size, not at all a good idea. The fourth one which is most desirable when we are having such type of data is panel data regression. It allows more observation, more degree of freedom and more cross section information. Incorporate changes within a firm as well as changes across the firm. Can study impact of firm specific attributes that is location, management philosophy, customer orientation, culture and many others. It is the best approach for analyzing the panel data. Why panel data? Since panel data relate to individuals, firms, states, countries over a the time, there is a bound to be heterogeneity in these units which we can analyze with the help of this method. By combining time series of cross-section observation, panel data gives more informative data, more variability, less collinearity among variables, more degree of freedom and more efficiency. Panel data can better detect and measure effects that simply cannot be observed in pure cross-section or pure time series data. For example, the effects of minimum wage laws on employment and earnings can be better studied if we include successive waves. Panel data enables us to study more complicated behavioral models. For example, phenomena such as economics of scales and technological change can be better handled by panel data than by pure cross-section or pure time series data. By making data available for several thousand units, panel data can minimize the bias that may result if we aggregate individuals or firms into broad aggregates. So this is all about the introduction to the panel data for more videos on how to analyze the panel data kindly refer to my channel please go on my playlist in which i have already uploaded many videos which are related to panel data analysis don't forget to subscribe my channel and like the video